going guys? Hunter, recording the video for Caleb today. Uh, as I told you guys in the last clip, he was not going to be here today because he had a business thing going on. It's first thing in the morning. We just got here. We're already going to town on these walls, painting a black right now. I think Caleb showed you the paint yesterday, but if not, I'm going to show you what we're using. It's a stain blocking paint and primer. This is, it looks like tar. It is just straight black. And it's supposed to help out with the pictures because we're going to be having kind of like the showroom type feeling in this area. Have the cars backed in this corner, I'm sure you guys already told you. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and knock out these three walls, try to get a time lapse for you. And the tree guy should be here, here soon. <clears throat> we're going to knock out all these trees so these limbs aren't falling on customers' cars and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll kind of just be checking in with you guys periodically and uh, let's get to it. Tristinger here. We also have the tree service. Like I said earlier, they'll be tearing down some of these limbs. We have Nick and Richie. We're currently working on the exterior door, sanding it down. We're going to put some primer on it. And then like Tristinger back there currently. We're going to put some new pieces in. Getting half the wall done. Yeah, everything's going along pretty smoothly so far. We're working on the interior door now. Electricians are working on putting the boxes in all the way around. We have started on sanding the outside of the door already. Now we just got we're gonna clean up a little bit of lack there and hit it probably again with a hundred grit to smooth out the on the 40. Guys are dropping branches right now. And we also have a guy on the roof, which you can't tell, but he's getting the gutters cleaned out. We got a lot of work going on today. Guys, we're still working on the trees. We're actually taking out a few more trees than we originally planned. A couple of dead ones. Seeds up top blowing all this stuff off the roof. And uh, unfortunately, we were in the middle of putting the primer on this one and uh, he started blowing. But it's all good. We're gonna go ahead and try to re sand it down. We definitely need all this stuff off the roof now the gutter. Yeah, they're working hard at it. Checking back in with you guys. We just got back from lunch. We have the guy still knocking out the trees in the back. We have a spray foam guy here now. He's gonna go ahead and do all this above the bathroom as well in the back. We're gonna have a quote for all this ceiling and then also in the main lobby as well. We got Richie here. We're about to move the scaffolding over. We still gotta to touch up the top a little bit. We got the main parts of the walls as you guys saw in the last time lapse. And we still gotta get behind the compressor. Unfortunately, the electrician was here and accidentally hit one of our hoses and broke off the copper fitting. So that's another issue we got to deal with. But besides that, it's been a pretty good day, pretty pretty busy day, and we are all tired, but we are knocking it out. All right, guys, just checking back in with you. It's getting later in the evening. We have the tree guys are gone, as you can see up here. They took all these branches down. There's actually a tree that was standing up right here in the middle. And you kind of see the stump is still on the ground over here. We went ahead and had them just go ahead and cut that completely out because it was already dead. And we don't want to risk just trimming it up and it falling anyways. And then we also had them trim up this tree because once again, it was dying up towards the top part of it. And we don't want to trim them up and then uh, it still fall on a car or something like that. So we went ahead and had them cut that out. And you kind of see all through here. There's one up here. There's a couple over here in the distance, uh, right here and right here. There was one branch that's actually coming all the way over and falling onto the roof. So we had them trim that completely back and then they went ahead and cleaned out all the gutters. The gutters look a lot better than what they did before. As you can see, Nick's over here putting the last coat, or actually it might be the first coat on this door. We say that we're primer. We had to wait earlier because you guys saw we primered it. And then when they were blowing the gutters out, actually went all over that door. So we had to wait till they left to do that. And as you can see, we got our new LED light out here. The electrician put that in for us. 
while he was here. We didn't get a chance to paint over the fuse boxes because he was messing with those all day. So you see the primer still there. And you can kind of see all up here, we still are touching up. We have Richie over here. We already did this side with the scaffolding. So we're kind of just working our way all the way across the room. So we're in that corner right now. I showed you earlier that the electrician accidentally broke the fitting off the compressor, but uh, we went ahead and moved it back a little bit since it is broken, disconnected and went ahead. So it kind of helped us out with him breaking the fitting because now we're, we were able to reach back here and kind of touch up some spots back in this corner. So we try to make the best of it. So we went ahead and moved it back a little bit with the pallet jack and we still got to work our way around doing that. And then I'm sure Caleb has already told you guys, but we're putting a bigger door in this opening. So if you guys have questions on why we haven't painted any of this, this will be all cut out along that ridge. So we got a little bit of black over here and we still got a primer in this corner where that electrician was working. So we didn't want to be in his way. So we didn't touch any of that. Alrighty guys, so it's the next day. We're leaving Home Depot now. We had to come grab some scaffolding. I actually bought scaffolding this time instead of renting it because the one that they let you rent, the wheels don't freaking work, man. It's just a pain in the butt to deal with that one. It's just in really, really bad shape. So we bought scaffolding and eventually, I guess when we get done with everything, cause we're gonna need it for the office space too, for the ceiling tiles and also to paint the office, we're gonna need it anyway. So, and I also bought an airless sprayer, a big sprayer. You guys kept commenting, you know, hey, they make big ones that are cheaper. Now, I didn't know they were, th they're not cheap, cheap, but I didn't know they were this inexpensive, I guess. I was under the impression that um, you had to pay a lot of, like a ton of money to get something like this. But uh, I, I read your guys' comments. I saw the feedback um, and checked out the airless sprayer system. I'm gonna show you when we get there. And we're gonna use that to spray the um, rest of that four feet or whatever it is in the main or this the back shop area that we're working on painting that you guys seen the black being applied today so we will meet you at the shop we also got a um a snake we rented the the big 50 foot snake that way we can unclog those drains because we clogged you guys seen in the last video, we clogged that back drain in the shop and then the bathroom drain has to be snaked. We're also gonna be looking at the lobby desk today. We're gonna try to turn it and move it. We're gonna see how exactly it's bolted to the ground or the floor in the lobby first, and then we're gonna move it before we put the new hardwood flooring down because if we wait to do it, we're obviously gonna destroy the hardwood flooring. Also, the hexagon lights are in. They got delivered yesterday, I got a notification. So the hexagon lights are in. They're gonna look really, really cool in that back shop area. So everything's coming together. We'll meet you guys at the shop. A ton of work should get done today. It's Sunday though. So none of my guys are here. It's just me and my wife's dad. We're just gonna try to knock out some ins and outs of the shop on the weekend, try to get some things done because we're a little behind, but we're still, we're still looking good on time. So we're on track. We'll see you at the shop. Here's the drain right here that's clogged. So we need to get that done. Here's the scalp thing we just picked up. It's on sale, by the way, if you want to go to Home Depot and grab one. And here's the airless sprayer we just picked up. We got a 50 foot hose with it too, so that when our bucket is on the ground, this thing's pretty cool because it holds the bucket. See how it kind of, the bucket goes down there. This tube goes right directly into the bucket. Run your 50 foot hose. That'll allow us to get up to these top portions of the roof and not have to have the actual system on the scaffolding. We could just leave it on the floor because we got 50 foot of room and you know, it'll make the process go a lot smoother. So thank you guys for the recommendation. I didn't know they were this economical or inexpensive. I figured they were way more expensive than this. So I, I thought it wasn't even an option, but this one was fairly, fairly decently priced. So check it out. If you got a big project like this, we're gonna get to work. We'll see you guys in a minute. Good. Right. Gotta figure out which way it's curving. It's draining now, boys. It's draining. Alright, out here on the front side. Kind of see right there. It's all draining pretty good now. Sweet. 
doing the bathroom drain now. Yeah. Yep. stuff was in there. So we're prepping this area for some fast setting cement packer because whenever we run our epoxy floor, running our epoxy floor here soon. We want the floor to be smooth. By the way, here I am setting up this scaffolding. We went and got another level to it so that we can paint easier. And we also got new door handles and locks for that door. An extension for the spray gun, an extension. And then we got a new exit sign to replace the old one. Working on getting this done, guys. Making some progress. Alrighty guys, well that is gonna wrap up episode three of the Dream Shop build at the Old Giant Napa store. Stay tuned for episode four, should be dropping in one to two days. The last thing we did for the day, I don't think I showed it, but we re-keyed, or not re-keyed, but we put the door lock, the deadbolt on the backside door. So now we're able to come to the backside instead of having to go through the front of the shop each time after we close that roll up door and lock it. So. Now we're able to lock the roll-up door back here, which is gonna get replaced anyway. And we replaced the deadbolt out here so that we have a key to it now. And we're able to access it from back here. So everything's going good. So we got the two drains in the shop cleaned up. One in the bathroom at the front of the shop and one in this part of the back of the shop. We got the exit sign replaced. We got a new exit sign because the other one was busted up. We got the scaffolding set up for tomorrow. We got the paint gun set up for tomorrow. Now we can spray the rest of the top. We got uh, that concrete, or the, <clears throat> sorry, the concrete trialed right there at the door to where it's all smooth. So when we lay our epoxy, we're good to go and have a smooth floor. So we did get some things done today. And we also got some more planning done today. We checked out the desk as well. It's bolted to the ground. So we're gonna take out some panels, unbolt it, and be able to scoot it over and make it to where the desk is in the back, um, kind of by my office. So stay tuned guys for episode four. Subscribe if you guys are new. Thank you for the support on all the videos and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.